Um, another big tool that's that's in Workspace I want to touch on uh, quickly is the, the fishbone. So now I have a project. I could go and start a brand new project. I could go back out to that grid. I could pick the fishbone and get started. But let's say my fishbone and my process map are somehow related. So I can add additional tools to the same project. So right now my project is here. It has a process map. I can also add a new tool. I'm going to click that here. And again, this is the list of all of the tools that are included uh, in Workspace. I'm going to narrow this down and go into the fishbone category. See, there are a couple different um, fishbones. I'm going to choose the man machine materials. Now, this is a fishbone that just already has some branches on it. It already has these kind of categories for um, causes, potential causes of the problem that we're trying to solve. So it falls into the measurements category, the machines, the man, the methods, the materials. Unfortunately, they couldn't think of one that started with uh, an M for environment. I've heard of Malu before, but that's, that's kind of goofy. So we just go with that random E in there. I'm going to click and drag again. Just like in my process map, I can click and drag to select a bunch of these nodes. And I'm going to delete them because I don't, these are just placeholders. Now, the, the, one of the best features in Fishbone, one that I use all the time, is over here on the right in the task pane, we have what's called the brainstorm list. And what's useful about that is I could, instead of using this, I could go over here, I could select one of these, and I could add a child. And I could add another child to that one, or I could add a sibling, things like that, and then click in, you know, and, and in those those nodes and start typing. But instead, how people actually brainstorm? You're sitting in a in a room, and you you guys are, you know, you're you're talking, you're trying to discuss uh, the problem, and and what are some solutions, what are some problems, and and people are just like throwing out ideas, right? So you're you're in charge, and you're typing. Someone says, okay, well, it might be a bad, it might be a a bad sensor, or maybe well, the supply is bad. Well. You know, our manuals are out of date. Put that up. Someone says, you know, we didn't actually train our operators. That's a problem. Um, even if we did, maybe the, the operators made errors. And people say, well, what kind of, you know, errors? Well, sometimes our op operators are, are distracted. And sometimes they're just tired. Um, so, you know, people are throwing out these, these, these things. And you're just typing, typing, typing. And then what you can do is just click and drag these. So a bad sensor. That's a problem with the machine. When I click and drag over to this node, you can see how it lights up when I'm um, over top of it. And if I let go, it just automatically adds that right over there. So material or uh, bad supply quality, that's a materials problem. Manuals out of date, uh, we'll call that a methods problem. No training, that's definitely a man problem. Operator errors. And then I'm gonna hold down the control key again to select multiple things. These are my kinds of operator errors. So I can just build this thing right, you know, right live, right as, as people are, are throwing out ideas. I can drag them back. If I if I want to move them back to the brainstorm list, I can move them around to different nodes. And then the, the layout is under your control as well. So again, I'm a little persnickety. I like my fish bones to look like they're they're really flying through the wind. So I like all of my my uh, branches to go backwards. So this guy, I, I'd really like it to be on the other side. So I'm going to right click here, just switch sides. Now operator is over here. If I want this higher, you can see this little arrow. I can move that up there, so it's switch spots with with no training. And now the, the other thing about fishbone, everybody recognizes the, the term fishbone. Um, I don't think it's always necessarily the, the best um, layout for, for this type of, of material, especially if it's, it's sparse like this one. Um, so once you have your fishbone, if, even, if you just, if you, even if you start with a fishbone and you have all of your nodes on here and they're organized, you can at any point change the layout. That's up here under type. So I'm going to click type, and I'm just going to do a right tree. This might be a little bit easier to to see, or we can stop from we can start from the top and do a CT tree. You can see how when it goes down a level, this is my first level. You can see how these things um, spread out horizontally. 
And then on the next level, now they're starting to be stacked up vertically. So that's outline level. That's something else that you might want to um, tweak when you're when you're in your your brainstorming tools, like a fishbone. I can change this so you can see how the second level is when it starts going into outline mode. I can set change it to third. Watch what happens over here with operator errors and no training. See how it switches there. So now it's going to say, all right, well we're going to wait till the third level until we go into this outline mode, and before that we're going to keep spreading out horizontally. Now, when, once you have a, a tree of any, any size, you probably really don't want to go beyond two or three, but that is an option that's available to you. So you're looking at um, these, you know, these potential causes for a problem. You might want to prioritize them. So once you've got all of your ideas, now let's start to think about them. Which ones do we want to tackle first? You can um, visualize that right on the fishbone. There's a little priority option here. So we really want to take care of operator errors. That's a that's a big priority. Um, training, let's say we that's a lower priority. Let's say bad supply quality. Let's say that's, there's nothing we can do with that. Let's just call it a, a priority of five. And bad sensor. Well, what does that mean? We can also add comments, and we can say um, test done by Jay Donnell on 320. Now there's a little comment here, so I can hover over that. Just a way to store some additional information in one compact layout. Okay, so a couple of little uh, things to, to show you here uh, with this project manager. Um, so you already saw how you can add additional tools. You can also add uh, folders. I'm going to right click here. You can see insert folder. That might be useful if you have a bunch of tools, you want to organize them in some way or another. You can do that. You can click and drag these tools into folders. You can also insert what we call related documents, and that's any other kind of file that you might find related to your project that isn't already a tool in Companion. Let's say you have data in an Excel file, or you have some kind of SOP in a, in a, a Word document. You can go and, and insert those. So I'm going up to the Insert tab. I can also do that from that right-click menu that I showed you already. Everything is also available under this Insert tab. And I can attach a related document. Just browse out for a file. That's kind of nice just for organization, just keeping things together. You can also insert um, a mini tab project file. So uh, let's say we um, we said you know we we next we never actually performed a measurement systems analysis analysis. That's definitely a problem. We're gonna put that under measurements. So well let's let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna insert a mini tab project file, and it will add that that project file for you. It's gonna open up. And now I'm ready to go and actually do the statistical analysis um, that my fishbone pointed out for me. So I'm going to go, you know, quality tools and, and go into the, the gauge area and I'm going to run my, I'm going to create a worksheet and run my gauge study. And then I'm going to save this, this project and it will be saved inside with all of these other tools that are all related to it. In one convenient little uh, file package.